Hello guys, today we will see how to design a bolt in CATIA. First click on manufacturing design, part design, assign a name or leave it. Select a plane and we are going to make a cross section of the bolt. So this is the head part and this is the shaft part of the bolt. We will constrain it with some dimensions so it becomes a lot easier for us to know uh, what amount of height and pitch we require for the threading work. So give me a minute, let me assign all the dimensions. Now get the workbench and click on shaft part and ok so this is the 3D so I just make a hexagon I just want to make a hexagonal head so for that extend the profile toolbar rectangle and here you can see a hexagonal just click on the center part at the origin and this looks perfect ok so I will do pocket remove the circular extra part reverse direction and reverse side ok so this removes all the extra part now uh, I have to make a point for the helix from where my helical thread starts so just go again go back to sketcher plane and um, Select a point from the profile toolbar. So the point should be at the circumference of the shaft. So I just made it 30. And yes, the height of the point from the bottom. I keep 100 because I want a threading of total height 110. Now for threading, go back to shape and generative shape design. Click on helix. Now select point as the starting point, axis as the vertical axis. Assign the pitch 10 or 15 or 20, whatever you like, and height as I uh, given 110. Oh, it goes up. No problem. Again click on helix and reverse side. Okay. So now go back to part design and select a plane select the curve plane curve and click on the point so that the plane start from the point now choose the plane and draw the profile of the threading you want I'm going to make a triangular kind of a mattress threading so I just make this line as the center line ok so that I just have to make only one part rest other part I will mirror it about this line now let me make the profile it seems fine. Okay, skip. Okay, once you made the profile, then select all the edges and uh, click on mirror. Choose the green line as your mirroring line. And oh, I once again check whether it is less than 5 because I have given 10 as the pitch. 4.5 works better. Now exit the workbench and click on slot. Choose pulling direction and click on the top plane for your reference. Merge slot ends and here you have your threaded bolt part in 3D. It looks nice.
so i will render this cad model so change the display mode in apply material mode and click on studio button and that camera icon okay and choose the resolution you want 150 would be better and click on the compute button it will take a um, little bit of time if you have a graphics card but if you don't have a graphics card then do not try this because it will take a lot of time to render the more graphics card you have the lesser time it will take i have a 2gb graphics card so it will take a less time to render all this image it will hardly take 10 to 15 seconds so just wait for it 10 to 50 seconds it's taking quite a little bit time because i'm recording at the same time but then also it will take a less time so in rendering what you basically see is the quality enhancement of the image like the shadow effect of the head falling on the shaft part and the glow the reflections all this kind of a thing you can set also to know in more detail about rendering just see my uh, youtube channel engineering so